over here. Who do you know that has dementia? Uh, I don't know many people who have dementia. You uh, have. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> My partner here has a form of brain disease sort of related to a dementia type condition. My dad has dementia. I have early onset dementia. I have younger onset dementia. He was normal, he was working and then practically the next day we got a phone call saying something's not right with him. A lot of little things started happening. Starting ha happening. Not particularly walking down the path, she'd always veer off to the left, driving, she'd creep to the left. My GP called me in and said he just had a hunch and would, would I mind going having an uh, MRI scan on the brain? He said, how old are you again, Leonie? I said, I'm 52, nearly 53. He said, wow, he said, what I'm looking at here on this X-ray is uh, the brain of someone who's over, well over 75. I think it was just so unexpected. I mean, the fact that he was in his 50s. We just couldn't believe it. It just happened so suddenly. A lot of crying. Yes, there was a lot of emotion involved. My initial thoughts were probably the worst. No one in our family had had dementia before. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it meant. I was a tradie, that it was a job that I loved. All of a sudden, someone's come up and they've gone, well, you have to give work up. Dad couldn't sort of eat on his own. He can't change by himself. I think he tried to put socks on and just toppled over and fell over. I know what, how, how to do it. My limbs don't take, take it up. Just life. <laughs> life is just hard when you have dementia. It just did mean an extra responsibility for me, which I hadn't um, imagined. imagined that I would have to worry about. <laughs> I love him to death, but I, but I don't want to. <laughs> Keep telling you what to do. <laughs> no, you don't. I imagined um, both parents living a really long lives, you know, enjoying retirement. And I hadn't imagined that I'd be at home looking after him. I had to, was working as well, and I had other, you know, you have other issues in your life. I guess you feel a little bit resentful, maybe. Well, both my mum and I, we were really struggling. That's when I rang Alzheimer's Australia because I just didn't know where to turn to. Getting a key worker out of the Alzheimer's Association was um, a good starting point. All these sorts of support services, something I've never had to deal with before. Then we got linked in with Nicole, our um, key worker, younger onset dementia key worker, and she was like, right, let's get some support for you guys, let's get some respite, let's get some counselling. You sit and you discuss what your basic needs are and what they can do to help you. They were so familiar with the whole story. It was good, it was a big relief. They knew all the information about uh, the NDIS and to get a plan that would accommodate me for what I needed. The NDIS has the potential to fund a lot of support for you. So you need to ask, don't be afraid to ask. We've got a good deal of funding for personal care for Sharon. So we have a lady come in every morning for two hours to help her get up, shower, dress. It allows me to get out of the house and have a bit of me time, give Sharon a bit of girl time. It's a girl lady that comes in, takes her out for coffee. You know, I had literally no idea, like, we could have all this support. I think without the NDIS, I'm not quite sure how you would access these services for somebody like John. I just don't quite... Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't know how to do that. It's allowed us to enjoy Dad a lot more. We have dinners with him rather than us feeding him. We're a dad and daughter relationship now, not a dad and carer relationship anymore. I have a life now. I, I get up in the morning and I'm happy to be alive and go out and do things. There is hope. Because I'm it, look at me. We didn't think we needed help. I think at the beginning, we felt like this was our burden to bear, but it's just impossible, you can't, you can't do it by yourself. As soon as you're diagnosed, contact Alzheimer's Australia immediately. You've got to reach out. Once you get over that initial shock, you've got to reach out. There is no reason to, to do it alone. There's no reason to feel alone. Don't have to do it alone. There is organisations out there that are there to help. It's not a final diagnosis, younger onset dementia. That's why Alzheimer's Australia is here to help us live, not die. Leave.